Dundee have won the toss and they have taken advantage of a very strong wind which is blowing straight down Dens Park which will make life very difficult indeed for Aberdeen in this opening session. So Dundee is seeking to gain any advantage they can early in the match. They're without a couple of key players Dundee. They haven't got Ian McDonald or Walker McCall in the ranks. So they've had to rejig their side somewhat. Peter Mackey and Ray Stephen are back in the side. And the replacement for McDonald is the former Aberdeen player Bobby Glennie. who will play at centre half alongside Jim Smith in central defence. Aberdeen's injury position isn't as bad as was feared, with, although Tommy McIntyre is out. Neil Cooper is suspended. Mark McGee and Peter Weir have made it all right. And Duke Rugby has crossed over the right back, leaving Ian Angus playing in the left back position, retaining the place he won in the side, which beat St Johnston on Wednesday night. Ferguson snapped up by Weir. Here's Bell taking on Jim Smith. The challenge from Smith and appeals for a penalty kick waved aside by the referee Tommy Muirhead. Bell looked a little aggrieved. That was quite a difficult decision for the referee as Bell powered his way past Jim Smith. The centre half making the tackle. Bell going down. Well, you can judge that, but it looked very close to a penalty kick from here. Mikey playing it inside, here's Cammy Fraser. First time there to Ferguson. And that's the sort of chance that Ian Ferguson frequently snaps up. Good move from Dundee this. Cammy Fraser with a pass to Lex Richardson, the instant first time layoff towards Ferguson. And that was a good shooting opportunity wasted. Ferguson pressurising Rugby. He's kept the ball in. Towards Richardson. And McLeish made the tackle. Turning the ball out to the corner. Some faint appeals for a penalty kick. Correctly waved aside by referee Muirhead. There's Cammy Fraser, the Dundee captain, with the corner kick. Near post ball, touched on by Mackey. Away by Bell. Lenny. A picture goal from Bobby Glenny. Well, you'll seldom see goal score with more power than that. Well, I won't tire of seeing that again. From the corner kick. The ball cleared out by Dougie Bell. Glenny coming on to it fully 30 yards out. And look at that ball just tearing into the top corner. As his bell at his best, and his long surging runs, demonstrating his brilliant close control. A splendid effort from Dougie Bell. Miller chipping it forward. A very good play by Glennie. He's been out of the side in recent weeks, but he settled in very well in the heart of the Dundee defence. That goal, no doubt, helping to boost his confidence even further. It's a great pass towards McKimmy. And I think he may have had Angus beaten there. The young Aberdeen fullback slipped as he went into the challenge, but McKimmy also lost his footing. Eager a touch. Here's Strachan. We're wide on the left. Well, chance to run at McKimmy. Well, that's asking a lot of Angus. Well, Fraser's determination beyond question. And McLeish very clumsy with a challenge on race Stephen. Dundee streak it. Stephen. 
Well, there's no doubt about it. These two sides are playing this match for keeps. Lots of determination being shown in both camps. And it's making for a very interesting competitive contest indeed. Now, with the wind behind, this could be promising for Dundee. Four-man wall. Ferguson over the ball. Teeing it up for Fraser. Well, Jim Leighton left that alone, and I think he would have been in trouble. Let's take a look at that again. It was not sideways by Ferguson. Now, Fraser took this to the outside of the right boot. It was certainly swerving towards that right-hand post to Jim Leighton. And it must have been just about a foot wide. Well, surviving the appeal for handball, I think correctly. The ball seemed to play him, and now it's Peter Weir. Big gap there for Simpson. And Geddes. Very positive bit of goalkeeping. Andy Geddes losing the tackle to rugby. Bell at full stretch. Here's Angus. Short ball inside for McGee. The striker. Smith clearance. A hand was used though going forward. Well now it looks as though it's a penalty kick. Referee Tommy Muret has given Aberdeen a penalty kick. Well now this is controversial. We're going to have a look at this move again. Aberdeen tried to play their way forward through McGee and Strachan, the lofted pass in. Well, there was a hand being used, perhaps, and referee Newred spotted it, and that's why it's a penalty kick. So it's Gordon Strachan who's given Aberdeen equalizer. Well, very few people inside Dens Park saw that hand used, but referee Newred was in no doubt at all. There wasn't even an appeal, in fact, with Aberdeen supporters. But Strachan knocking in his fifth penalty kick of the season with great aplomb, leaving Geddes helpless. Geddes showing a lot of strength. Just even. Back it goes to Richardson. He's very much the link man in midfield for Dundee. Ferguson losing the pace of McKimmy. Angus appeared to lead on him. That's a good cross. And would be taking no chances at all. Good run in the right by Stuart McKimmy. And holding off the challenge from Angus to get in that good cross. Fraser now lining up an in-swinger from the corner kick. Leighton confident enough to clutch that one rather than punch it out. now picked up by Richardson Miss Mackey Fraser playing it wide to Tom McKinley you're looking there at a very good young left back indeed now Richardson Rugby takes over from Weir Miller available inside in trouble though from Ferguson the police provided the support Andy Geddes Geddes again Ian Angus on the pressure from Fraser and taking the safe course and playing it back to Leighton Ian Angus well, to Angus again. Richardson coming across to make the challenge. <laughs> Angus lofting it on to Peter Weir. There's Dougie Bell. Pulling it back for Weir take the lead it all appeared to be so very simple Peter Weir stuns the dense part crowd right on the half time whistle with the 
Aberdeen second goal, it's Weir's third of the season. It was Weir who started it off in the middle of the attack, got the ball out to Bell. Bell driving his way up the left flank beyond Stuart McKimmy. A very soft pullback from the dead ball line. Weir got to it, and the shot wasn't hit very firmly, but caught Geddes off balance. Ferguson fouls on the back by Miller. The boot was raised much too high by the Aberdeen skipper. Good free kick from McKinley, a chance for Mackey. Well, that is international class goalkeeping. Well, I'm tired of watching saves like that. The free kick from McKinley right over the Aberdeen defence. Mikey had a great opportunity. Leighton covered six yards in a flash to narrow down the angle. And look at that for a save. That perhaps summing up Dundee's luck this afternoon. And they get a good shooting opportunity like that. Mikey appeared to do everything right. But faced the goalkeeper who produced a very high class save. Here's Richardson now looking for Ferguson. A great tackle from Rugby. And indeed, I this time looking for a penalty kick. Ball driven against an arm. The referee in your head not interested. And here's Strachan taking on McKimmy. Lenny very calm in the heart of that Dundee defence. Careless one now from Fraser. There's Simpson. Chance for Braverdeen and we Passing it up. Well, Peter Weir won't get many chances better than that. The error on the right flank of the Dundee defence by Fraser giving Simpson the chance to engineer a shooting chance. Geddes couldn't hold the shot. Weir at the goal gaping and knocked it over the top. Would be keeping it in. Miller to Bell. McLeish opening it out. A oh, good play from Hewitt. The care go all the way himself this time. And the side netting. A good play from Hewitt. The initial control was brilliant as McKimmy came into the challenge. And he saw a road to goal opening up. The shot just going wide. Strachan just got a touch to help it on to Weir. Here's McGee. He's away from Glenny. The cross coming in for Bell. And that's the third. Beautifully created by Aberdeen and finished by Dougie Bell. Just his first goal of the season. 27 minutes gone in the second half. And this is one of the rare occasions on which Mark McGee has been able to shake himself clear of his markers. Out on the right, taking on Bobby Glenny, getting to the dead ball line. Hooking the ball across towards the far post, and there was Bell to knock it past the helpless Bobby Geddes. And this playing it on. McGee in a bit of a tangle, this strike in, takes it back. Well, you can see the intention perfectly clearly there from Gordon Strachan. Working the one two at the edge of the box with John Hewitt, and trying virtually to pass the ball in. That get his left hand post. That's McLeish. Final minute of the match now. Foul by Porteous on Kidd. Free kick quickly taken. Here's Cammy Fraser. And he now working only for a consolation goal. A match beyond them. Angus linking up on the left. Then across by Hewitt and headed out by Richardson. That'll be. Aberdeen's corner kick and perhaps the last chance in the match to improve the scoreline in Aberdeen's favour. Swung in by Weir. Bell going up with Geddes. The ball almost sneaked in. Bell's had a good match for Aberdeen. Capped by that third goal. So get it with a goal kick. Referee Muirhead is checking with the linesman. And there goes the final whistle. Aberdeen running out. 
comfortable with it by three goals to one. Although you do have to have some sympathy for Dundee. The match is won and lost in that first half when Dundee took the lead through Bobby Glenny. Then Gordon Strachan scored the equaliser on that controversial penalty kick. Peter Weir made it 2-1 right on the half-time whistle. In the second half, if Dundee were lucky to be ahead at half-time, they were much more convincing. A thoroughly confident second half display capped by that third goal coming from Dougie Bell after a good run in the right from Mark McGee making the scoreline Dundee 1 Aberdeen 3 and continuing Aberdeen's march towards the race to the Premier League Championship so that's the vision at Dens Park but still to come in Scotsport this afternoon is it